let's just get straight into the video. So the video we're looking at is woman living off grid on a remote island, two years in a small cabin. I live off grid in a cabin on an island in northern British Columbia. I nice. am the caretaker of this property and I've been here for about two years. That'd be cool. The isolation <laughs> is something I really enjoy and I love the solitude. I don't know how you do it if I you didn't have connection with people. living on this like... island full time. The owners are here probably I would say about one to two months during the summer. Oh, so she does have but some contact with people. in the winter people. time, for months at a time, I'm the only person on this entire island. That's cool. Man, that would be a great snow, job. We only get snow <laughs> for not... about two weeks. That's Often awesome. you'll come out in the morning <laughs> and awesome. you'll just hear the blowing. It's just so amazing. Yeah. I've been so. living on my sailboat so she's a for about 10 years. It was time to get off the boat. So I put an ad on Facebook and a lot of different things happened and wow. okay. I ended up becoming the caretaker go. of this property. Throw up an ad on Facebook so and you can be living on a I check the docks every day, I check island. the property every day. I just make sure That's that cool. everything's running smoothly. Part of my job is to split, haul and stack every single piece of wood that's burned on this property. I just look after everything that hmm. has to do with the property. I know for uh, a lot of people, I this is their idea. I also am a freelance web designer, heaven. so I have a lot of clients. Most of my clients are in the United States. Okay, so that's how she uh, makes so a living. I work fully remote. So that's so what I'll I wanted to, I want to be able to get to a point where I can work remotely and just be able to travel and, and then in the afternoons I'll set up in one place, in one country for a few months. And work on any client projects that I have. Yeah. That'd I have awesome. satellite internet here. You still need that connection with people. I know a there lot of people say you don't. Oh, I can live forever without anyone around. But on the property. humans need My other humans to interact with. Probably about in the long term, anyway. Like if you're out there for two years, and it's nice and cozy <laughs> you're, you're going to feel pretty for me. isolated. There's a nice little I guess it depends on your personality There's, type. But um, yeah, for me, I need interaction with people. That's basically turned um, into at my least a few times in a couple of years. And in the summertime, oh, a great spot. one of the two cabins is an Airbnb, and that's part of my job here in the summertime. Okay, so she's not completely alone. Like the owners are there for what one or two months a year, she said. But then in the summertime, it's running as an Airbnb, so you, she does have guests there in through the, the summer. Summertime, I do have a boat. So winter time is going to be pretty, <laughs> pretty lonely. In the winter time, we'll go once a month for a supply run. Broken a couple I wonder of if she's still there. It, it, on them be interesting to reach out to her. I should have tried before you know, making this video to reach out to her to see if she's hospital. still there. And... There are four generators on the property. The generators are used mostly in the winter time. Hmm. When the generator runs, the well fills the water tank and then the entire property is gravity fed from that water tank. Cool. Probably 90% of the wood that we use here on the property, we get it from the ocean. They just float by. Huh. So I'll hop in the kayak and I'll kayak out and I'll hammer a staple into the log and tie it up and <laughs> I'll just <laughs> kayak cool. it back. And yeah, I'll drag it up to the shoreline. <laughs> I just grab a chainsaw and cut it up into pieces and then I haul it up to the wood splitter and then I stack it up in the woodshed. I decided to start a YouTube channel, Amanda Off Grid, just so my friends could see what I was up to. So right. often so in the afternoons, if I don't have any channel. client work, I'll work on that. Oh, that's cool. I I'll put a link to that in the um, video description as well. If you want to uh, I don't get check out Amanda Off Grid. I don't know why I don't. A 28 foot sailboat. Yeah, people thought I was crazy. They thought, you're nuts. You're going to regret it. And I never regret it. Small little boat to live on. 28 foot. If I had right for a, boat, a week, I, but I wouldn't to be here. Live on it for so, 10 years. Yeah, best thing I ever did. 28 footer. I lived on my sailboat in wow. Vancouver for about eight years. And okay, I so she's just using it as a base. She's just working and then time. coming back home and then sleeping nights. In the summertime, it's a bit different than if you're traveling. And I it. would sail all around BC, and yeah. then I decided I just wanted to head north. It was always my dream to live up north. 
I would say 90% of the time, it's just so peaceful. Certainly and builds your character. Just a and your sense of freedom and peace self. and calm. Resilience. And I, I loved it. Um, I loved it so much. But to put yourself out of your comfort zone and just this property, really be on the edge of it all the time. My dog has passed away now, which is really yeah. sad. I'm kind of a, a nomad, <laughs> but living like this is the happiest I've ever been. Great spot. Yeah. That's awesome. Subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and check. Awesome job. She got it off Facebook. Just dropped an ad up on Facebook. As she said, she does um, web designs. So yeah, if you can if you can get into some sort of online <laughs> online uh, business, then um, I guess you then have the freedom to be able to travel anywhere. Yeah, it's a bit bit different than all the um, the other videos I review on here that I'm looking at shelter builds and bushcraft and stuff. But I, yeah, I just thought this was <laughs> that sense of adventure was pretty cool. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Check it out. And um, till next time, <laughs> thanks for watching. Catches.